The following is intended as a comedic parody. These suggestions are not actually recommended or endorsed. Comment from you. Now, what's next on my... Oh, right. Boys and girls. Now, like, like me and many of us in our LGBTI community, we've got small children running around at home. And... Uh, you know, if we don't have children, we've got pets. And I believe that the information that our next guest is going to provide us is interchangeable children's children and pets. So boys and girls, please make her welcome to the stream, the one and only number one childcare expert in Melbourne, Nasty Patricia. Oh yes, hi there. How are Over you? China. How are you? I'm girl? great. I am good having a good you. time in lockdown, let me tell you. Are you? Now, where are you in lockdown, Patsy? Well, I'm actually staying at my sister's house because I got kicked out of my place. I wasn't making the income that I used to. I, uh, I worked at the circuit bars and majority of my income was just from the bathroom. So, <laughs> unfortunately, that's out the window now. So, I've had to move in with my sister. Right. And... She hates it. I'm out in the bush. Can you believe it? I'm out in my sister's bush. Normally people are coming in my bush, but this time <laughs> it's the other way around. Oh, Patsy. Now, can I also ask you, how do you get your decolletage to look so waxy? I love it. It looks so supple and waxy. Oh, you know, I just use a bit of the uh, olive oil, anything I can find around the house. Just lather it on. I have a I have a bit of an Italian background in me, so you know I keep myself nice and moist with the olive oils. <laughs> now, Patsy, one of the reasons why your breasts are so supple is because you are the mother to a newborn. So who have we got down here? Yes, oh, oh Toby, he's dropped his cigarette. Sorry, just pick it up. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I was almost running late because I had to roll his cigarette. You wouldn't believe the amount of abuse I cop from this one. Oh, goodness me. Yeah, so this is me baby Toby. I Isn't had a he nine gorgeous. Yeah, he is. I had a nine-week pregnancy with him and um, gave birth to him on the uh, Molly's Bar and Diner stage during um, Drag Bingo. <laughs> I had a full litter of six. Some fell behind the stage. Some I gave away the bingo prizes. And, yeah, this is the only one I kept, thinking he was going to be a good one. But turns out he's bloody possessed by my sister from the womb. To me. What happened to the other one, the other five? Oh, the other five. Well, some just fell down the back of the stage and a couple I just gave away as bingo prizes. I think I've seen some of them rolling around in our costume bags. Oh, yes. Well, yeah, you wouldn't believe it. Once I was thinking, oh, Toby's in time out. I, I normally put him in time out in the boot of my car. And I, I thought he was in time out. And there I am fishing through the stuff at the back of the circuit stage. And there's Toby in his uh, Christmas outfit. I thought, oh, geez, he's been there a long time. Patsy, speaking of which, my baby, it's good timing. My baby's just crying for me. Hang on, let me, let me get him. Come on, sweetheart. Good boy. See, this is my beautiful little, this is my beautiful Bentley. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh, yes. yes. Jealousy, pussy. Aren't you beautiful? <laughs> I think um, Toby's always had a bit of a, a high tolerance to alcohol. He started on it quite young and he's always been quite demanding, like when I'm, Working at Circuit, he'll threaten me. He'll say, Mummy, give me a cult and draft pint or else. It's a part of the being possessed by my sister situation. But um, yeah, right. so basically he, he loves a drink. I, one of me, one of me child me um children's tips sort of thing is actually um, you know, dietary intake. And that's very important for not only you, but your little ones too. And Absolutely. um and me being still a breastfeeding mum, I, um, you know, I make sure I keep my diet very healthy with a very, uh, a very large amount of alcohol. And what that does is it makes me feel good, goes straight through the breast. And um, Toby, Toby's basically, you know, um, nice and out of it majority of the time. I don't have to worry about him misbehaving. Right. Now, nasty yeah. Pat, 
I know I know that you've been stockpiling a lot of baby formula and I know that poor Toby actually doesn't get to see any of it at all because you've been selling it to China. But other than baby formula, what sort of stuff do they eat? What, what does he eat? Well, I mean, it is it is normally just the very high alcohol milk from my breast, which is used to sedate him. But if I am giving him solids, I do have to do that, the kind of bird feeding is what I call it. And it's normally just, you know, something light and fluffy like a chicken nugget. I'll, I'll shove a few in my mouth, chew them up and just spit them on his face. And that's what he really loves. Right. Either a cheeseburger and or a chicken nugget. <laughs> and what about entertaining them? I mean, my Bentley can be an absolute devil. How do we keep them entertained? Oh, well, look, it is very hard to entertain Toby. Um, I, I think, you know, what one thing that I do um, do, which is not only just entertainment for him, but it helps me as a mother to kind of teach him along the way, I like to put yeah. him in what I call um, standing up training. Now, I used to do this at circuit. I used to use a beer jump, but now we've kind of stepped it up a little bit. And what I do, I just pop him in. I've got a, you know, a luxury vase for him. I just pop him in like this. And that's oh. his standing up training. And then you just pop wow. him on the windowsill. If you put him on a windowsill, he's got a beautiful view for the day. And, um, you know, that's kind of your parenting done. How fantastic. And you, you don't worry about asphyxiation when he's in there? Oh, no, he can breathe out the top. <laughs> but my, 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 um, one of my friends, Ironica Mars, she sent me, I said to her, you know, I was telling her, if you ever have a little one, put them in the standing up training. And yep. she said, this is how they actually do x-rays of kids and sent me this. That's oh. a real baby being x-rayed. Michael, I saw that going viral the other week. So little Toby, I mean, if that poor child can put up with that for 30 seconds, then Toby could probably stay in that vase for a good eight hours. Yeah, and he has a good view from here. So that's <laughs> nice as well. <laughs> Heaven. And, you know, I mean, a baby in a vase. I mean, who needs flowers, right? Exactly. Yes. It's quite gorgeous. But um, Fantastic. And now, Trish, yeah. um, can we just check in for a moment, sister to sister? How, I mean, have you ever experienced postnatal depression or, um, you know, am I allowed to ask, do you mind disclosing that in front of people? Yeah, I, it was a little different. It wasn't actually um, postnatal depressed depression. I I went to a, a psychologist to get diagnosed um, with Toby there, and I actually got diagnosed with postnatal possession. And um, <laughs> what that was was um, Toby was possessed by me, um, me twin sister from the room from the womb. Janine and oh. it explains why he's been talking and quite aggressive and trying to kill me because um my sister has always been very jealous of me from day one I mean she didn't make it out of the womb but she's been haunting me trying to kill me and now she's she's gone through Toby and uh got the the postnatal um possession so yeah Trish, what was the beef with your sister? What's the history there? Oh, well, basically, um, well, she she was actually a ghost. She didn't actually come out of the womb. But um, she was me, me twin. I do have another sister. She's a bit older and a lot uglier. But, um, you know, um, she got the unibrow and all that. But um, but the, the one from the womb now living in Toby, I mean, yes. she's an absolute nightmare you wouldn't believe it she tries to kill me Toby chases me around with a knife threatening me saying give me the bottle give me the bottle you know so uh, I mean, well it doesn't surprise me that you've had that postnatal possession after that Trish that sounds just horrific my goodness you're a real yeah. trooper 
I know, it really gets him through. Would you like and to hear any of your meow? Sorry, go on, go on. Child tips? I would love to. Yeah, I love to. I've written a, a short list. Yes, please go ahead. Yeah. So, um, so obviously, you know, some something to spend the to um, pass the time is the um, standing up training. That's very important. Getting them in the valley. Can you hear me? I think I dropped out a little. Can you hear oh, you me all right? You did a little bit, but we were happy to hear less. So please go on. Okay, great. And the next one um, is the timeout. When they're misbehaving and they need to go in timeout, chuck them in the boot. It's the best way to do it because what that means is next time you're, you're invited along to something, they say bring the kids, they're already packed. So, I mean, he survived the boot when I went to Thailand to get me boob job. I left him in the boot at Tullamarine McDonald's and um, he actually got his, found his way out and um, drove down to the beach, was trying to pick up, pick up chicks, the real sleaze bag he is, Toby. Meanwhile, I'm stuck in Thailand. You know, I did think about the um, the gay clubs and, and you know, I did spend a lot of time there with Toby um, and I've, I've also found that this is a really good time to convince him that gay clubs are closed forever now. Um, I'm, I'm trying to make him believe that, that there will be no more gay clubs anymore, they won't open again. Because to be honest, I was quite sick and tired of, you know, the way he was behaving and what was happening to him. You know, people would grab him out of my arms and he'd be passed around like jacking me off at Wet on Wellington. And then, you know, you'd have drag queens like M Mr La Minx on the stage kicking like a football. No wonder he's like bloody paralytic now. And then, you know, um, if you bring your pram upstairs after 11, I tell you, Millie Minogue will be up there and the police will be cold. <laughs> now, Trish, I'm surprised to hear you say that gay clubs are going to close forever because that was your main income. And I remember, you know, you were nine months pregnant and still clubbing and, you know, snorting and drinking. I remember you fell down the stairs at Circuit when you were nine nine months pregnant. Um, so, I mean, are you ready to let go of that life? Yes. Well, I mean, sorry, I don't mean to correct you, but I was actually only nine weeks pregnant because my pregnancy was a speed pregnancy. It went for nine weeks only. So, right. um, but I did fall down the stairs and I was huge. Two weeks in, I was ballooned, so huge. And then um, basically, um, you know, I... I I do love being there. I did make quite a lot of money in those bathrooms, but I don't think it's a safe place for, for, for babies, little babies like Toby, you know? When you've got, when you've got evil people like Mr La Minx around, you know, you've got to be careful. Well, I remember one night at Circuit, you know, I had to peel Toby off the toilet floor because he was literally, he'd just been left in there and he was stuck to the floor and he you know he came and he had all this black stuff on the side of him and I just gave him a bit of a brush off and then sort of threw him back to you and um you know he was good to go but you're right I mean a nightclub is is no place for a little baby yes I mean you know I thought it's probably safer me bringing him there than you know to church or anything like that where you know well absolutely so, uh, you know, he did spend a lot of time in the toilets as well, on the floor, getting himself dirty. But, you know, that's that's how we grow and learn as children. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your tips, Patsy. Is there anything else we should know about or are our, are our children sort of just, you know, oh, going to well, I, I think that's all. I think I've covered all my special tips. Um, you know, that I, I also had him as a way to, you know, test your um, test your personal hygiene and body odours through lockdown because, you know, a sister can go a couple of days without a shower now and you just forget. So, you know, every now and then, I, yeah, every now and then I just lift the armpit a little bit or I say, Toby, how's your day going? Or, you know, I'll just walk past and let off a quick fart 
And I'll just watch his face and see how he reacts. And that's how I gauge kind of my personal hygiene and BOs in the lockdowns. Right. Well, Trish, you are looking absolutely stunning. You are what I like to call a yummy mummy. And it's good yeah. to see that the bush is treating you well. So we might leave you there. Thank you so much for all of your tips tonight. Or I'll just read you some uh, messages from our viewers. Dean Richards says, Tullamarine McDonald's, he aches. Jackie, excuse me, Jackie Mioff is giving angry faces. Uh, Luca, Tail, uh, Luca Tail says, Puss would be aching for this Nadia China. Oh, and Mitchell Shel Sheldrick says, and to think that Trish didn't win Best New Talent. You were robbed, Trish. I definitely was. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so, so much for that. We might check in with you later. Great to see you, girlfriend. And um, is that one of our, is that one of the sisters' dream girls' wigs, by the way? It is not. This is my natural hair. I know I have been accused, but when you do wear a dream girl's wig, oh, boy, the resemblance. People go, is that nasty Patricia on the stage? No, it's just Nova China. Well, the facial hair is also, you know, throws them off. They think we're the one in the same. Yeah. All right, Patsy, thank you so much. You've been absolutely fantastic. Lovely to see you. Take care in the bush. And um, would you mind exiting yourself? <laughs> yes, Sissy Poos. I'll just be down the bottom. Mwah. Love ya. Have Mwah. a good time. Yes, Sissy, you too. There she goes. I always feel so nasty asking people to exit themselves. It's not nice. I don't like it. Anyway, what is next? <laughs>